Tensai Shitara Slime Data Ken Chapter 150 On that day, I finished the control enhancement and did a test run. My current position is at the Tactical Level Army Field Mobility Command aka the Operations Room. The name is the result of the flood of thoughts I spent on making it cool. The name is a bit too much and I regret it very much. It's strange, only a few people know its real name because everyone calls it Operation Room. It was set up recently next to Veldora's isolated area on the 100th floor of the labyrinth, it was also connected in and out with Tempest Strategy Hall. This important base was basically established deep inside the labyrinth. The results are truly satisfying. Several large projections used in the tournament are now in this room. Each showing a different scene in a separate location. Numerous areas in the Great Jura Forest and trade routes with the Dwarf Kingdom. I can now observe the key areas without missing a single one. Even the maritime route and the route in the Kanat Mountains were visible. The concept for them is very simple. Using physical magic Megiddo, that I worked so hard to construct. The prism-shaped drop of water was processed by the spirit. It is perfect because I can use it with low consumption. The image is magnified by the scattering prism and then reflected onto a mirror that is relayed from an analog mirror in the stratopause layer where the image is transmitted. At the same time, the transmission image is processed directly through spatial control, so there is no delay between instantaneous data transmission. The image is displayed on the screen with HD resolution after being processed by Wisdom King Raphael. There are as many as two slideshows, in case one is destroyed or faked. In addition, this screening system has another achievement. I can use Megiddo while sitting in this operation room. I tested it by shooting Gobuda's leg who was practicing in the square. But I didn't think it would be so effective. Gobuda's bewildered face was unforgettable. Stupid. Forgive your sins of inattention. I put in this teaching, come to think of it, Gobuda isn't too bad. In addition, the effectiveness of Megiddo has improved. Originally, it was optimized by the Great Sage, but the current Wisdom King Raphael disagreed with that argument. It developed that skill meticulously and also evolved into a 24-hour floating satellite system. Night activities are also possible. With my magic essence as fuel, the Great Spirit class geostationary satellite is now temporarily suspended in the mid and stratosphere sky. Every time it runs out of fuel, I simply do the replenishing operation. In addition, at this location, there is no relationship between day and night, so it can directly focus sunlight, so it can reflect and emit energy at any time. It cannot be avoided if energy loss occurs. But the energy from sunlight is stronger than before and can even be used at night. It was natural, but during the day there was still a loss of energy even though it was only a little. Due to the increased amount of focused light, the amount of heat emitted is also very large. Now it can even release energy on par with a heat gun. Even if I just sit in one place, I can completely destroy the human army. I was really impressed when I got the modifier magic. Now, with countless images from different areas displaying on the large screen, the test was successful. Just when I returned to the office after confirming the results, Shuna came and reported a visitor. As far as I can see, many customers are many. Well, it could be said that most of the work I do is interacting with clients. And the rest is developing the magic along with coming up with ideas for cool looking gadgets and getting the right people to work with the right skills. Playing is also part of my job. With such feelings, I have had serious contact with many customers. I was led to the reception room, inside which were four individuals waiting with panicked faces. The familiar trio and an old man I met for the first time. The trio is Shinji and his friends, who were active during the recent maze capture. As soon as we entered, we greeted each other. And I was told about their affair. As expected, under top secret orders from the Empire, it seemed they were sent out for the purpose of gathering information for the operation. They politely introduced each other's names and began to explain their internal affairs. They agreed that this was an order from Yuki. I thought it was him. Unfortunately, our labyrinth was harder than Yuki expected. Or rather, it was also harder than I expected. This is not something to laugh at. If you think about it normally, this kind of development would never happen, more like evolution, I think this is obvious. Well, anything is fine. Forget it to ease. Which then it seems they did report back to Yuki. 
but for some reason the information leaked to the leaders of the legions. They were apprehended and apparently dragged away for questioning as well. They were drugged so they succumbed, and as a result a bomb was planted in each of their hearts. At that time, Shinji's teacher who held the position of Emperor Gadra Rushi was probably the old old man who was accompanying them. He rescued them and escaped here. Wait, you guys with the bomb don't mind? When I asked that, ah, it's been removed. We bought new bracelets and went into the maze to self-destruct. Shinji replied with a nonchalant expression. It seemed the bomb was set to explode when trying to operate, it seemed to be a self-destructing bomb so they couldn't think of a better option. Anyway, as soon as they were saved from the prison by Gadra Rushi, they arrived here immediately with Shinji's teleport magic. They reached the maze immediately. Then blew up the bomb right inside the maze before the Empire side realized their escape and detonated the bomb. Well, sure, they will respawn even if they die inside the labyrinth. But this is definitely a very drastic action. Didn't you guys notice that doing so would affect the traps and battles with monsters inside the labyrinth? After I asked that, his face turned pale and stammered like a chicken with a hair on it. Apparently, they panicked and didn't think about the scope of the explosion. Hey Shinji, hey, don't tell me you haven't thought of that? Mark retorted, ha, ha ha ha, of course, that's what I thought. Shinji replied to Mark's words while turning his head to the other side. Oh well, while Shinji was insisting that he would fix it later with his power, but saying that alone won't work because Shinji tried it from the beginning. Afterwards, Gadra said that it was better not to believe in Yuki, and that if he did, he would have to leave the country. Soon I turned my attention to Gadra Rushi more than at first. He didn't look pretentious, but he wore an expensive-looking magic cloak, he had the sharp eyes of an old man. Then Gadra San, why did you come here with them? Respond to my words. Honestly, I'm a reincarnated person. Gadra San suddenly revealed that shocking news. The other trio was surprised too, they stared at Gadra Rushi. According to him, he seems to have been reincarnated many times to Master Dafa. After that, he also participated in the campaign to suppress Veldora and was gloriously killed. Actually, for me that time it was right to finish preparing the reincarnation ritual from before. I want to see firsthand the monster that reigns at the highest peak brought by Mother Nature. Only four dragon strains were born in this world. They were the ultimate monsters, the strongest being in this world. And then, this being said from his actual combat experience. He thought that it was impossible for the Empire to win against Veldora. And a demon sovereign who became Veldora's closest friend, me after all, piqued his curiosity. I no longer feel any obligation to the Empire. The legions that I have cherished and guided with all my heart have been taken away for so long and now I no longer have any debt. In addition, I have heard from disciples that Adelman's residence is in this labyrinth of demon country. Wow, looks like Gadra Rushi was Adelman's friend a few hundred years ago. At that time, at the western periphery of the Great Jura Forest there was a small kingdom, where the study of Tantra may have been studied. In just a few short words, he was able to read precious books in each royal capital and build a foundation of knowledge within him after each reincarnation. He seems to have been a unique person since birth and he insists that he has no qualms with things like loyalty. He's really old. I will keep to myself the fact that I have respect for you for a moment. Of course, the information about Ramirez and the labyrinth, he heard from Shinji's own mouth, I guess. While whistling and pretending like he didn't know anything, he might have played a trick to get Shinji and his friends to say it, but other than that, there was no other point. The weapon that Shinji brought back and the magic crystal were the ones that attracted the most attention. The greedy people cried out to start a war. When all is mentioned and done, I think there are ten years left. I planned to reincarnate before the war started, but I failed. However, the cause of the war was the boy named Yuki. The name has emerged recently, with enough influence to rise to the top and then become the new commander of the corps. He leaked information to other legion commanders, and it was certainly interesting enough to make war. Well, there's nothing I can do anymore. Incidentally, I was determined to help my students because I also planned to leave quickly. Gadra Jison brazenly declared that. But, if what he said was true, it was exactly as I expected. 
Yuki made up the fact that that high-quality magic crystal and that high-efficiency equipment could be obtained in that labyrinth, then spread this news. So what will happen? I can predict that there are always those who wish for an early war in the empire. Honestly, I'm not the patient type. For a year now, I had to wait with all my heart and at that time it bothered me to leave my mother. If you fight, then fight big, if you declare war, hit it too, let me save Chloe and crush Yuki too. Therefore, I want that side to fight first and I will ignore these three guys. Otherwise there's no reason to ignore them when we know they're spies. Okay, as expected, Shinji was surprised by my statement. But Gadra Jisan simply nodded with a smug expression. He seemed to understand our underlying reason. Of course, that Yuki probably understood my intentions as well. But he leapfrogged the plan and started to act. According to Gadra Jiazan's words, the Empire's side has begun to prepare to wage war. I heard that the ultimatum will be declared only once in place of a declaration of war. I'll simply swing when the battle starts, there won't be any mercy after that. If that's the case, there's no need to think about this side. I'll be done in a flash and clean up the roots of evil. These three deserters have been approved in my favor. Gadra Jisan was given the right to treat him as a guest. However, he became the new guardian for the 60th floor later and became a hidden boss besides the demon golem. That has nothing to do with the current situation. The war conference in the great chamber had ended, and the emperor was resting in his study. A beautiful lady with azure hair was taking care of him beside him. Emperor Ludra was looking at the lady standing beside him, now that the donkeys seemed to be in position, Velgrind. Do you think her brother will go to war this time? He inquired of the lady in a cordial tone. The beauty, whose name was Velgrind who was just asked, replied to the king with her usual voice. The reason he asked her was because she was the strongest being in the dragon race, the fire dragon. Velgrind, that's right, Ludra, that boy will go to war, because that kid loves festivals. Oh yeah, but that's right. It would be good if our army could defeat him. If not, let's finish this time, I wanna see this guy and my sister Velzard. Hmm, so she also aimed for Guy. If you fight against Veldora then I will have a chance. Um, it's annoying. On the other hand, we will have to deal with the boy as quickly as possible. Ha ha ha, even so, this time my ability. The special skill of Supreme Justice King Michael, opened me up to use Armageddon. Guy's comrades seem to have increased their combat strength, although they were still not united. This time, we have the overwhelming advantage. Oh, then, should we carry out the plan to bring that boy back to us? Since he was defeated, that kid can't be on Guy's side. Do you want me to take that kid back after I weaken him? Hmm, just keep doing it. But the human body is really inconvenient. Every time we reincarnate, we enter the soul and fall. The limitation of our ability to bear, depends on the timing. This time, I had to wait until I reached the perfect state. My army is well prepared and there is no limit to my ability. If you can concentrate on Veldora's perception, this dominion authority of the ruler of mine will overpower that kid. Oh, then here comes the glory. But, somehow the boy was no longer in his usual state after being freed from the shackles. That kid's whirlwind of magic essence flying everywhere and full of aggression completely vanished. Maybe that kid still hasn't returned to the status quo? Do not mind. Guy is someone who ignores the weak, he won't recruit that kid as a good friend. Also, he was raising the demon lords but he still couldn't lead them. Actually, that new demon lord named Rimuru seems to be quite popular among the other demon lords. Yes, if he ruled over the humans then it would be against Guy's rule. And making the demon lords do us a favor would be against our rules, but that's okay. Before that demon lord matures, we'd better crush it as soon as possible. But the demon lords gathered in one place was also timely. The Rimuru and the Ramirus, we'll crush these two demon lords at once. Indeed. So, let's make this commotion as flashy as possible. Once Veldora is in our hands, their role will be over. She will shower them with compassion with her supreme power great compassionate King Regul, it's good that we plow through that city quickly. Then give them some kindness after a while. Give them a peaceful death. The two sat and talked for a while. And the next day, a great army of the Empire with an unprecedented scale in history departed with the destination of the Demon Kingdom Tempest. Thank you everyone for watching the video.
Please support me one subscription.